here live at Comic Con 2018, Krypton Press Room. Why don't we talk to the star of the show and ask him what he thinks about the next season? Intro. Intro, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show. More than entertainment than what's on the screen. Connecting dots on what you see. Have you ever wondered how it all began? The idea, how they started the plan. XX actors, the whole team. Mad props to those behind the scene. Why did the person get into the biz? Something inside when they were a kid. Who helped them out when they wanted to quit? What about the fam that gave them rocks to kick? How all the haters, they left shaming alone. Find out in the... Entertainment zone with Paul Amadeus Lane. It's a real thing. Intro, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show. More than entertainment than what's on the screen. Connecting dots on what you see. So, Cameron, let's talk about your character and how it's grown from the first episode to where we left off. Yes. Well, uh, as you know, like Seg in the beginning is, is a hustler on the streets of the Rankless. He He's just getting by, and, and through meeting Adam Strange through the insane events of, of season one, he's had to grow into this hero until eventually he comes to this place, this moment with his grandfather where he's holding on to him, Brainiacs, dragging him into the Phantom Zone. And he understands a finally a beautiful riddle. The entire season he's wondering, who am I, who am I, in, in the context of the House of L in terms of this future... What does it mean to be a hero? How can I do that? And the beautiful answer to the riddle is, it's not about you, man. It's about everyone else. So he's taken his first big step towards being a hero. You know, what I like about it is the backstory of the Superman story that we see. We see um, uh, the House of El, but we also see Zod yeah. and how their families are intertwined, interwoven. Yeah. And that really tripped a lot of people out. How yeah. did it make you feel when you saw the script? And you said, wow, this is pretty cool. I thought it was an amazing spin on the mythology. It, it, it's, it's, it just makes, for me in terms of the show, it, it allows all those relationships to be even deeper. It allows all those relationships to have even more history. And the fact that, that Zod is something that ties Seg and Lighter together forever. And the fact that there is a future where this man comes to be um, is, is really fascinating. But also, Seg, you know, it has that House of El thing that he wants to save everyone. And even if, if Zod has taken steps he doesn't agree with, it's still his son. It's still his son, and he's still going to want to try and save him as best he can. Now, will Seg go into the future to maybe see a young kal or an older kal Could we see that? Who's to say? You know, I, I don't know for sure, but this was a show that it was devised to go anywhere. Hopefully we proved with season one that we absolutely can and will go anywhere. Um, so you never know what you're going to see. One of the things that I want to see play out is Doomsday. Yes. That's going to be ridiculous. Oh, I can confirm season two, Doomsday is unleashed. You'll see him in his, his full raw destructive power. Uh, like we, we had these awesome characters of, of Doomsday and Brainiac, and, and Brainiac was the looming ghost who was haunting season one and, and the, the ultimate threat at the end. But we barely scratched the surface with him. He's an amazing character, and we want to dig in uh, further and, and see what he's like. And Doomsday as well. Doomsday, we just saw a little tease of him, what he's capable of. So I, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what we do in season two. Now, we'll look at one episode that we've watched so far, which episode stood out in your mind as like one of your defining moments of where ones were able to really get the story and and really start to put things together? Yeah. For me, it's episode six. It's it's that moment in the catacombs where, where um, Adam Strange has revealed that he knows who General Zod is. And General Zod says, I'm here to save Krypton. It's, it's all I've ever wanted. I'm not a duplicitous villain. I've always been honest with your grandson. Yes, I didn't like him, but I've always just wanted Krypton to be safe. And Seg and Lighter learn that Krypton is doomed. And that in this horrible, perverse way, Adam has to make sure that that happens. And there's this fantastic debate between all of these characters about the fate of Krypton and really the fate of the multiverse itself you know having that conversation as as an actor was amazing because of the great dialogue but as a fan you know those, those words have incredible weight last question yeah what really tripped me out the last episode we watched is when we finally heard the catchphrase kneel before zod yeah, it was awesome wasn't it colin salmon is my zod you know always and forever he's he's the, the to me the greatest zod in live action 
he's awesome. And, and, and the thing that I love about his performance is, yes, he can be incredibly intense and incredibly threatening, but there's good in him. There is good in Zod. We don't, we don't deal in the pure hero villain archetypes in this show. And I, I'd be interested to see, you know, where Zod has taken Krypton. Is it all bad? We shall see. Well, congratulations. Looking forward to next Thank season. Thank you so much, man. Much appreciated. Good, right, to, good see to see you again. again. Take care, Cameron. All the best. Uh, so, Cameron, talk about, you know, the vision of doing a, a prequel to the Superman story. Uh, yeah, doing doing Krypton was a, you know, having the opportunity to uh, add to the mythology of, of Superman was a dream for me. Uh, I, I still kind of pinch myself, uh, you know, about it. Um, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's an honor, and a, and there's, but we, I see it as a, there's a, there's a responsibility there to. Um, to honor what's come before, but also, you know, um, like all the creators that have come before that have, that have had had a hand in that mythology, we want to bring something new and fresh to it as well. So it's, a, and, and the way our story goes with the time travel element and, and now that we're into a bit of a divergent time timeline, we have the, we've got the best of both worlds where we can sort of um, cherry pick the bits of the mythology that, that work for us and our story but we also have a bit of a blank slate and, and a license to, to you know go off book and go wherever else we want to go so yeah we're in the we're in the right in the sweet spot I think and what I like about it Cameron is we all think of Krypton as being this a metropolis of technology no ghetto no lower class mm. but to see that now portrayed on camera it really help, helps Krypton live for us that it's a society like we have yeah yeah i think that that it becomes more relatable for us as, as as an audience and i think you know one of the best things about science fiction generally is that we get to um you know there's an opportunity for social commentary uh and it and it doesn't have to be in a in a really heavy-handed overtly political way and and so by having that kind of the class structure that we saw in season one allowed us to address you know some social issues that, that we're seeing in our you know present day. And hey Cameron, what's been the challenge of just putting this vision to screen that we're able to watch? Any challenges? Uh, loads of challenges and immense challenges. But that's that's what you know that's what I signed on for, and that's what we're you know we're we're all you know aware of that. And and the reward is you know we get to be a part of of, of the Superman mythology. So. Yeah, I, I welcome the challenges. Last questions. Yeah. What do we have to look forward to season two? Uh, in season two, we, we will be just expanding our world so much more than we did in season one. In season one, we were, you know, uh, the story took place in, in Candor and it was all really pretty much uh, just that setting. And, and in this season, we go, uh, t we, we see some of the other city states. We go to the moon, Wegthor, we go to another planet, we go to, Ali uh, to Brainiac's homeworld of Kalu, we go to Earth, we, um, but yeah, it becomes a much more expansive show. So there's a lot to look forward to. Looking forward to it, and I love the way it ended, Neil before Zod. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, great moment. Yeah. Great talking to you, my friend. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank thanks a lot.